that. Now tell me about the second project you were talking about. Let's go the second that. project is uh, it's nice because it's international. We are making a partnership with Carlos Bumba, a tour guide from the African legacy there in Luanda, uh, Angola. In Angola, wow, yes. Angola, yeah, that's amazing. To connect Africa directly, especially the Portuguese-speaking countries. Exactly, uh, addressing there the heritage sites that are directly connected with the old historic ports to our uh, African roots here and the Little Africa part in Rio, and uh -huh. also with a partner from Sao Paulo, from the interior of Sao Paulo, Solange Barbosa, from the Rota da Liberdade, or the Freedom Route. Uh, she's a UNESCO uh, consultant for, the, for this document that was generated about the transatlantic slave trade mm. and the specific sites of memory. And she works directly with the Quilombola communities in the interior of different cities in Sao Paulo, acknowledging the folkloric and traditions of these areas. So yes. it's something that you would like to hear about. So we are preparing a virtual presentation that will acknowledge these three places to represent something bigger, but mm -hmm. these will be the focus of this experience. And wow. uh, we are working on that now together. That sounds great. And for those, sometimes uh, for, for some of the Americans that may not know exactly the role Quilombos played in uh, liberation of Africans in Brazil, can you just explain that culture a little bit because the resistance in america was a little different a lot different i should say than what happened in brazil can you explain those differences and contrast a little bit so we understand Quilombo? okay thank you that's a very good question and well quilombo are like the maroon community so the name that we give here is quilombo so quilombo could also be a, a uh, something, a synonym for resistance, a place of resistance. And Quilombolas are the people who are from the Quilombos. And it brings us back then in our past, since the 17th century, where the first uh, uprisals, upheavals of the enslaved people who resisted to slavery, to being mm -hmm. enslaved, they ran away to forests to found their own communities that was like mixed with indigenous people, with people from different peoples from Africa, and also Amazing, even yeah. white people who couldn't fit in that system. So they would organize, learn together tactics, develop strategies to fighting of war, of boycotts, to the uh, mills, sugar mills and plantations. So they would create a lot of these strategies. They resist from more uh, than 100 years there in the, fr in the first big quilombo of Palmares that was estimated to have more than 20,000 people in that foundational like, colony of 20,000 people <laughs> yeah, for 100 like they, years. They basically created their own separate city and community and just started just building it. Exactly. And they yeah, resisted for by like uh, for many years to the incursions, violent incursions of the Dutch, the mm -hmm. Portuguese wow, against them. Yeah, yeah. And you know, the Quilombos is, is, are spread around Brazil because they are the descendants of this resistance points in different parts of the country and also in the interior, but also in the now, cities. You're speaking of the descendants, the people that, the descendants of this, these ancestors. Are yes. You, that they've then become a different, found themselves in different parts of Brazilian society in different ways. Exactly, with different cultures. Yeah, now what you, I saw information that you had about uh, Europe as well. You had done some work there in the project in Europe was that from you tra having traveled to Europe? And I, I was listening in Portuguese the other night and uh, I, was, I was just so amazed at some of the things you said. And one of the things that stood out to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you were saying that a lot of people in Europe have pretty much like, uh, they've left out, like African, African history in Europe is like side by side with the development of European culture. Yes. And exactly. that to me, because it's always portrayed that, oh, well, the, the colonizers just went to Africa and all these things, and then later Africans just want to go to Europe. It's either one of these two narratives, right? But 
explain to us how that's not the case and what really happened in the, the early centuries leading up to slavery and after slavery. Inside you, you, you are a really good storyteller interview. I, I try. I, I'm a writer Thank too, you so, so much. I like to read. I like to research, and you like I got this from listening yeah. to you know. I want to really dive deep on things I've heard you talk about. So hey, <laughs> and I read more about your stuff as well to get to know Thank your you. work because Thank the way you, you ask the questions, they're so deep that I can understand. I can imagine how <laughs> what's deep going on in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to that then. One, okay. uh, uh, I, we, well, this multicultural living and drive that leads my work today, it was uh, motivated by the input of travelers and visitors who I exchanged the information with. So oh, okay. as a tour guide also, I received people from different parts, from Africa, from Americans and British, many British people, Canadians as well. And they were inputting information. They would say, oh, but this happened also in England. And I looked at them and said, <laughs> and like many black people coming from England, they said, are there black people like British black? And they were looking at me with big eyes like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> with the accent and everything. And I said, and I said, sorry, it's just because here in Brazil and the way your country portrays your people is as if you were, you were all white mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and blonde. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and, and these people were saying, oh, oh, you need to go deep into that and understand our history as well because it's the way we connect. And that's true. Like in the play, the, uh, the role England play um, uh -huh. Br uh, Britain played in the slave trade is key mm -hmm. like to fundament it and uh, later to break with it because of their own uh, how can I say their own agenda mm -hmm. their own interests yeah so uh, I was feeling as the more I researched I was and connected with people I was feeling the need of understanding how British government uh, Britain uh, benefited from the richness that they exploited from the West Indies and with the trades with North America, Central America, and South America. Mm -hmm. So these people, they offered me their support as net networks, and they said, feel free to come, to reach out to us, to meet us there, come see the Slavery Museum in Liverpool, get to know the role of Bristol, and we had the incident with Colston statue there. It was amazing. I oh, met okay. many locals who, mm -hmm. who told me by the time I was there about the statue of the slave trader Colston that was teared down by the community. And I was mm. like, I was feeling very uh, <laughs> grateful for people doing that, acting like that, because I was there. So, yeah. so then your feeling of connection grow even more. Because wow. you know, you're not yeah. only receiving the people here, but I'm tr making an effort to go there and meet these people who are you, coming here. And you had already Care. learned, and, and imagine how that is, you already learn English. So you, 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 you know, it's like that, then you can use that as a way to listen, to understand that, which maybe some Brazilians may have missed in times past, because maybe yes. there was uh, translation things that kind of just overpassed and blockages of information. So you got that, then you go there, and you connect and what was it like i mean finding it and like what did you what were the biggest uh, things that you found there about it that? was mind-blowing to see and find out because for us brazilians it's very expensive very hard with our currency to travel outside yeah. of our mm -hmm. own state sometimes mm -hmm. to our from our own city it's very hard mm -hmm. it took me like six years to be able to go out again and meet these people, and also because I had a network. But when I got there, I saw this multicultural uh, people in Liverpool and London, and even in Bristol, and they were of all colors, all nations, through generations. Gener and then I've heard, I, I met these yeah. people in person, and I met, like, some of them told me about David Olusoga. So for those people who want to understand the British history, it's like what David Olusoga says, like, 
we say there is a black history because people didn't tell us about that black history. So we say black history, but actually yeah. it's British history because it, there's uh, no such a thing of separate. Wow. People separated. Yeah. So we just separate to keep like addressing, calling attention to it. But in fact, it's one thing. There is no British history without black people. Mm. And it is, and the, the, the researches he, he did brings people up to Roman times. And the role of Africans, pre-Africans, living in Roman times in Britain. Yeah, and, and is there connections there between the Moors of Spain and Portugal and all of that as well? Uh, exactly. Arabic people, Moors, Spain, Africans. So there was a lot going on there that was documented differently than what was actually happening, from what I imagine. From what yes. they wanted to portray as this is uh, England, this is France, this is Spain, you know. Well, so what's the 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 religion of the religions? Where it all started, the, okay. the, the pantheon of gods and goddesses that later on transported mm -hmm. to Greece and Rome will mm -hmm. become the, the the West. West, no, the East so then, gods. So, gods. so then tell me you're going back to Egypt then in the comedic worlds and then these are things I discovered. And they I were all natural that, beings. They yeah, were all connected yeah. with the elements of nature. Right, right. 